Hi, I'm Dr. Kay Kirkpatrick, State Senator for Georgia's 32nd District. Welcome back to my Senate Minute. Today I'm in the Senate Chamber where I spend a lot of my time during the session. Behind me is the rostrum where Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan presides over the Senate. Below that is the well where senators come to speak on points of personal privilege for announcements and most commonly to speak for or against a bill. One fun fact about the Senate chamber is that once the Senate has come to order, only senators or other elected officials are permitted to walk down this middle aisle. This has been a long time tradition that is still alive and implemented to this day. And right here is my desk. Every morning when I come in the chamber, there are papers on senators' desk, which include the calendar for the legislation we're hearing that day, including the actual bills and resolutions, as well as the first readers, which are read aloud towards the beginning of the day and assigned to a committee. Usually, we'll also have some announcements on our desk for any events or updates we need to be aware of. One example of an announcement that was put on Senator's desk just this week was for the mandatory ethics training for members of the Senate. I presided over this meeting yesterday where we discussed expectations and logistics of reporting unethical behavior. In addition to this meeting, the Senate Health and Human Services Committee convened for its first meeting of the session yesterday. After the mandatory House keeping of adopting the committee rules and introduction of members, we heard a presentation from the Georgia Council on Aging. This meeting and other committees that held their first meeting of the session this week marked the official start of committee meetings and our work to begin discussion and hearing testimony will now be getting started. This week I dropped two bills. The first originated from the Senate Study Committee on Service Animals and would extend protection of citizens who rescue a child from a hot car to protection when rescuing animals as well. The second bill would make it illegal to drop contraband or photograph a state prison using a drone. These bills are safety measures that I'm confident will move forward this session for the safety of all Georgians, including animals. Though the Senate sent two legislative days conducting official business this week, three legislative days were accounted for. Five years ago, when snow and ice covered the streets of Georgia, we weren't fully prepared and cars, including my own, got stuck in the middle of roads. With predictions of a similar outcome, senators were advised to stay off the roads on Tuesday. Weather didn't end up hitting as we thought it would, but to avoid history repeating itself, we used an abundance of caution to be safe rather than sorry. This weekend is going to be a busy one in Georgia and specifically Atlanta. I hope everyone enjoys their Super Bowl weekend and please stay safe. The General Assembly will be back in session Tuesday, February 5th, but as always, if you need to reach me, please email me at k.kirkpatrick at senate.ga.gov, and I will be happy to help.